Hi ladies, it's Patty back. Um, today's video tutorial is going to be on bronzing, blushing, and contouring. I've already done my BB cream and translucent face powder. I will be doing another video with powder foundation as soon as mine comes in from Unique. I'm just waiting for that. So let's just jump to it. Again, our BB cream is a, is a tinted face moisturizer, which is already on. As you can see, it has evened out my skin tone. And I also added the translucent face powder over that. So these are the two items that I just used. Very quick, very simple, didn't take any time at all. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about bronzer versus blush or bronzer and blush and a little bit of contouring. I don't have a lot of cheekbone. Um, for some reason, I just wasn't born that way. But I also have a beachfront bronzer, which is basically just that. It's a bronzer. It may look really dark, but it is stunning. You can put a bronzer anywhere. A lot of times when we wear it on our face, we try and wear it where the sun is basically sun-kissed you. So you can wear it on the brow up here. I wear it on my cheeks. I wear it down a little bit of my nose, my chin, and evidently right here on this white spot because when I'm in the sun, I always have a visor and, and sunblock on. So this area never gets any sun. It, it's not a bad thing, but that's where I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer as well. Then I'll add a little bit of blush right here on the apples of my cheeks and kind of dot it in. The contouring, believe it or not, I'm going to use our eyeshadow palette. Our eyeshadow is not just used for eyeshadow. It's used for eyeshadow, contouring, cheeks, lips, if you have the right color. Um, our our products are very heavily pigmented, which means they have a lot of color and they last all day because they're primer infused. If you've seen any of my lives on my pages, then you have seen me come on at six o'clock in the morning, put my makeup on and come back on at six or eight at night and my makeup is still there. That's because it's primer infused. Also, before you put BB cream on or any foundation, you should always use a face primer. I'm waiting for mine to come in because I waited till the last minute to order. It says it should be here anytime soon. So that is what I should have said in my other video as well, and I didn't, and I apologize. But a face primer, what that does is that sets your face ready for makeup, and that leaves a layer between your face and your makeup. So your makeup is sitting on your primer, not on your face, not getting into your pores. Although I haven't found that to be a problem with the BB cream because it's a moisturizer. And I don't have super large pores. I have a little bit larger ones here. So that's your tip, okay? So this eyeshadow palette is what I'm going to use to do um, my contouring. This color right here, right here, is called Nimble. Excuse me, not is Nimble, and this one is Gullible. These are the two that I usually use for contouring because they're, they may look really dark, but they're not that dark. And once you put your bronzer or your blush on, you're good to go. No worries. So that's what we'll go ahead and start with. I'm just using a big fluffy brush. You can use any type of brush that you like. I have no makeup on my face except for BB cream and powder. No eyeshadow, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to pick up probably the last one, which is, let me make sure I give you the right name, is Gullible. So I'm going to get just a little bit on my brush. You can't see too much of that. What we're going to do is you're going to swoop on your cheekbones. You want to make sure you come down below. So you want to start at the top of your ear and then down. This is the area that I need help with because I do not have any cheekbones. <laughs> so we're going to just put that on there. And the reason why I'm using a bigger brush is because it will give me a more, it'll give me a wider look. It won't be like that little line, dink, dink. And of course I'm going to put bronzer over it, but already you can see where it looks like I have a cheekbone now. Isn't that something? It's something we learn every day we can do with makeup. But did you ever think of using eyeshadow to do this? Who would have thought, right? I'm gonna do one side of my face so that you can see the difference. Okay, and then I'm gonna use that down here because again, I have a little bit of a rounder face and I wanna go ahead and kind of contour that a little bit to make it look like I have a little bit of a sharper look to my face. And we're gonna we're gonna blend it all in, so don't worry about that. I just use it very sparingly. That's why I keep going back into it because um, I just wanna make sure that I don't put too much on. And you want to get on the top here a little bit as well. And you want to bring it out here. Don't forget, go all the way back. Okay, so it looks a little bit sharper here. Definitely, definitely have more of a cheekbone look on this side here versus this side. So I have just, all I have on is a little bit of eyeshadow, darker shade, a little bit of eyeshadow, darker shade. And if you want, you can even come over here. And that kind of gives you just, just a little bit. 
You also have contour um, pencils, um, but I, I like using my makeup. I like using my eyeshadows for that. So anyway, we went ahead and just have it here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and put our bronzer on. And our bronzer is just just stunning. It is so wonderful. They have all different shades. I have um, one of the lighter shades because they're very intense in color. Um, it looks super dark, but it's really not. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. And this is right here. I'm trying to get all of this off here because I don't want to waste any of it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go above where we put the eyeshadow for our contouring and then on it. So again, we're going to go up here and we want to swoop it all down. And this is just gorgeous. I mean, and this, again, stays on all day. It just gives you that little bit of sun-kissed look. It's not supposed to be super obvious unless you want it to be, but it is beautiful. And it does make you look like you've been in the sun. And see how that just blended right in to the contouring? Then you can also put it on the top of your forehead here, like where the sun would naturally hit. You can put it down your nose, on your cheek, or chin, excuse me. And then on this nice, lovely white spot, and we're gonna go around here too because we wanna make sure that it all blends. But we have this lovely, lovely white spot. You can see where it has the color deposited on it right now. So it kind of takes away that white spot, kind of hides it a little bit. So what we've done now, and we're gonna blend this right in here. And, and then again, you can add as much or as little as you want. But it's just to give you just a little bit of a natural look. I don't know if this light is very good, if you can see it. Um, I'm using very little bits at a time. That's why I go back into my my container. You can, of course, do this in you know two swipes, but I like to kind of just build it. So we've got that on here. Uh, trying not to spill all of my bronzer. And now I'm going to use just a tad of our blush. This particular blush is pink with gold flecks. I think that shows the best angle of it. So we're gonna use the same brush, all with the same brush. And we're gonna make that funny little face, and put it right on the cheek, the uh, apples of the cheeks. And I wanna get it up here too. See, add it just a little bit, and then I kinda of dot it into the rest. So I don't know if this light shows it very good or not, but we went ahead and added just a little bit of pink to that cheekbone area, the apple of the cheeks. And if you feel that you've wiped away your um, contouring, you can always go right back into it and add just a little bit more. Um, the point is to make it not so obvious. So, you know, it's a good thing if it went away a little bit, okay? It's not a problem if it did. But if you wanted, you could add a little bit more to it. And you can see how this blush has a shimmer to it. It's so, so pretty. That's what's so nice about this product is it has just enough shimmer to kind of like highlight your face. So that's basically highlighting and contouring 101. So there's my cheek. We're gonna go ahead and make sure all this is blended on our neck. That nice lovely white spot. <laughs> and so you have your, see how when I smile, look at this side, nothing. Look at this side. See how that side looks like it's lifted? So I'll smile again. Because of the contouring, the little bit of beachfront bronzer, and that little bit of pink right here. So when you smile, flat. Looks like I have a little plump little apple there. So I hope that this helped you. Um, this is just very, very basic. Of course, you can go super, super dramatic if you chose to. I just uh, usually don't with my face stuff. But as you, even as you look down, see how right here, how it looks like I have a cheekbone. This is awesome because I don't. <laughs> um, and if I wanted, I would put even more here to kind of, you know, make this even more sharp. But I think it does, it does kind of bring it in some if you look here. See how this looks rounder and this looks straighter here and that's what we want to do is we want to the dark color will push in the light color will bring out we also have um, a color optimistic eyeshadow which is kind of a, a, a cream kind of white but it's very very heavily pigmented you want to be very sparingly with this if you do choose to use it as um, a highlighter now with this you can highlight the top of your cheeks 
so that you do get even more of a glow, more of a sun-kissed look up top. And this will actually, when you turn the light, it will actually show, lift it even more and show a little bit more brightness. You could put it here if you wanted to highlight that area or not. You could put it, this is eyeshadow, believe it or not. You can put it, and I have not dipped back in. This thing is so heavily pigmented. You can put it up top here and up top here to help lift your brow. And again, you could always powder over this or foundation over this, but this will go ahead and help lift the brow. Kind of give that brow a little bit more of a lifted look. You want to put it up top. And you can put more up top here. And, and so in certain lights, you can see it. Other lights, you cannot, but it does give you that little bit of shimmer up there and a highlighting to draw your eye and to make it appear like it's being lifted. If you put it on and you decided, oh, no, 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 it's not for me, well, no worry. Just go back into your beachfront bronzer, and you could certainly put, I'm using the same one, so it's not going to come off, but, but you can do that. But by doing that, you do lift the eyebrows. Um, it's, it's kind of a neat concept. Um, I had never thought of using eyeshadow you know, or anything like that before. So I thought that was kind of kind of unique. <laughs> Play on words. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but that's the beauty of our product is it allows you to use one product many different ways. So that helps to hide some imperfections. Maybe lift again, lift the eyebrows. When you look down, different lights you know it's like different lights that looks shimmery we do have of course other um blushes that are not shimmery which i'll probably be ordering one of them as well because um my friend has one and it's absolutely stunning but again if you look at my face we're going to end the video this side with contouring this side with not so what we're going to do is look once again cheekbone no cheekbone roundness straighter so this whole side of my face, when I smile, cheekbone, apple, none, straighter, rounder, contour, none. So I hope this video helped you. Um, it's my first time making this one, so um, <laughs> I may regret it. I may redo it later, but I hope that this helped you, and I hope it re made you realize that you can use eyeshadow to do so much. And as I'm talking to you, I'm like, keep staring at my cheek. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's crazy how it made me look like I have cheekbones. So I hope this helped you um, to realize how very simple this is to do. And there's no right or wrong way. Do it as dark as you want, as light as you want. Um, the bronzer is so natural, you can't even see it on my face, really. Um, but if you do see it, it just looks like you've been in the sun without the sun damage, as I know, because I just had two skin cancers <laughs> cut out of my face. Um, so again, take a look. You can see how much more lifted this whole side of my face looks. Thank you, ladies, and I will be doing my next video soon. Have a great, great day.